Hello kids, welcome back to another story with Dixie. Sophia the First, a royal mouse in the house. The day of the pet talent show has finally arrived. Students from Royal Pep line up on the palace grounds to sign in. Wait until you see Clover's dance, Sophia tells Amber. Yes, answers Amber, but my peacock Praline is so pretty, she'll easily win first place. Outside the castle, the princes and princesses groom their pets and work on their tricks. Xandar tosses a ball to his elephant. Frido is holding James up in the air by his feet. James, be careful, says Queen Miranda. Attention, everyone. The pet talent show will soon begin. Suddenly, Princess Hildegard rushes in late as usual, holding her pet mink Lulu. Wait, she calls. Please fill out this form, noting your pet's special talent, Bailiwick says. Lulu does gymnastics like somersaults, Hildy says, but because she's so small, she gets really nervous around crowds. Whoops! Oh no! Lulu, come back! cries Hildy as she chases after her pet. We should help Hildegard, Sophia tells Clover. You look in the castle and I'll look for them outside. Meanwhile, Hildegard runs through the castle searching for her pet mink, Lulu! Lulu! Hildy pauses before an old ornate mirror. Oh, I'm a mess, Hildy says, patting her hair back into place. I wish I could understand why Lulu ran away. I would totally win this competition if I were... At that very moment, a mouse scurries past. <gasps> a mouse! Suddenly, Princess Hildegard turns into a mouse. Oh no! Hildegard squeaks when she sees her reflection. This can't be! I'm so small and everything is so big. Help! She screams in a tiny voice. Just then, Clover hops down the hall. His big ears pick up the faint sound of someone crying. It's a mouse. Clover asks the mouse what's wrong. Clover, it's me, Princess Hildegard, the mouse says. Clover can't believe it. What happened? He asks. I don't know, Hildy answers. What should I do? Sophia will know says Clover. Hop on. They find Sophia in the courtyard looking for Lulu. Hildy, is it really you? asks Sophia. Sophia, it's me, Hildegard. I don't know what's happened. I was just looking for Lulu and suddenly I became a mouse, replies Hildy Mouse. Do you think someone cast a spell on you? says Sophia. We need Cedric's help. Sophia leads Hildy and Clover to Cedric's workshop. I know the perfect counterspell, Cedric says. He holds his wand up high, mumbles a few magic words and poof! But the spell doesn't work. Hildy is still a mouse, except now she is blue. Hildy Mouse is so embarrassed that she runs away. Hildy Mouse runs out of the castle into the courtyard, filled with kids and pets. Look, cries Amber, a mouse! Hildy Mouse is scared. Everyone is so big compared to her. Hildy races across the courtyard and scampers through an open door into the castle where she feels safe. But Hildy ends up in the kitchen where the cook scares her even more. Small creatures are nothing but helpless, thinks Hildy looking around for the quickest escape. She spots a mouse hole and runs inside. At last, Hildy feels safe. Then she turns to see a family of mice behind her, giving her a funny look. I'm not a mouse, cries Hildy. I'm a princess. Just as Hildy Mouse steps outside the mouse hall and sees Sophia and Clover, Lulu finds them. Oh, Lulu, thank goodness you're back. Now I know being small is no fun when everyone is bigger than you, says Hildy Mouse. Hildy, what happened right before you became a mouse? asks Sophia. I was in the hallway. Hildy recalls. A mouse ran past me and I screamed. Then I turned into a mouse. Clover speaks up. Can you show us where it happened? Certainly, replies Hildy Mouse. It was in this spot, says Hildy Mouse. The magic mirror, gasps Sophia. Hildy, you were standing right in front of it. That's what turned me into a mouse, asks Hildy. Make a wish and we'll find out, says Sophia. Magic mirror, turn me back into a princess again, says Hildy. 
With a poof, a swirling cloud covers Hildy Mouse and leaves Princess Hildegard in her place. Oh, thank goodness I'm back, says Hildegard. I thought I would be a blue mouse for good. Outside the castle, Bailiwick is waiting. Princess Hildegard, where have you been? he asks. I'm sorry, the talent sign-ups are closed. Does that mean we can't be in the show? Hildegard asks sadly. I'm afraid so, says Bailiwick. It wouldn't be fair to the others. OK, let's go home, Lulu, Hildy says. Wait, says Sophia. They can take our spot. Are you sure, Princess Sophia? asks Bailiwick. Sophia and Clover nod. We're sure, she says. Lulu, says Hildy. We'll do this together. You'll be great. Good luck. Sophia tells Hildy. Lulu leaps high and passes through a hoop. The audience applauds wildly. After the talent show, Bailiwick announces the winners. First place goes to Princess Hildegard and Lulu. Sophia and Clover can't be happier. Neither can Hildegard and Lulu, who now know that even when you're small, you can do great things. The end. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to already. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next story. Bye for now.